Hello. Wow. Come a little closer. Yeah. You look great today. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Seriously, you look great. I have been painting a ton. I'm not sure about you. I certainly have. And as a result, I'm pretty much out of black. Look at that. Pretty dang empty. Yeah. Which, you know, these things happen when you paint. Who would have figured? <laughs> in an alternate universe, your pans on, in your palette just refill themselves. But in this universe, uh, we either have to, you know, be wasteful. And when this runs out, you chuck it out, which is not me at all. Um, or you need to refill the dang thing. Now, when it comes to refilling watercolor palettes, you need to understand something. Number one, it's freaking easy. Don't throw this out. <laughs> I love this. This is my super cool Hemi watercolor or Mia. It has two names. I don't even know why. Although I, I guess I have two names. Actually, I have three names. Actually, I have four names. Um, forget what I was saying. So this is the Mia or Hemi. Maybe Kimi is the company and Mia is the name of this thing. Ah, that could be it. Anyways, I love this thing. And I've run out of the black. So I need to refill it. And what you need to understand, the second thing, other than it's super easy, just do it and don't be ridiculous and throw the thing out, especially if you love it, is you need to have the right kind of tube of watercolor paint. So what... Not to get into too much science, because I'll lose you. But, uh, and don't leave, by the way, because at the end, maybe there'll be something special. <laughs> I'm freezing. I have my hoodie zipped up. Maybe I'll unzip the hoodie. Um, <laughs> anyways, not that that's exciting. But uh, you need to be careful of what kind of watercolor you use to refill your palettes. Because if they're not glycerin based, I believe that's the right thing. Yeah. If they're not glycerin based, they will dry and it will be like a rock. And you'll be like, why am I not getting any color? And it's because of that. Because it's dried up and it will not um, reactivate. This one, and I will put a link to it in the descriptions. This is a Daniel Smith. Uh, what? It's the Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolor. And... Not that I care anything about the brand, but what they do is make paint that is glycerin based. So you can reactivate it super easy. So now the thing to remember when you're refilling these things is to don't just kind of go and it's filled and you go on to, you know, eating oranges or whatever you're doing. You need to maybe fill like half of the pan at once and make sure that there is not any bubbles in there and things like that though I wouldn't lose sleep if there are to be honest for the amount that I paint and I'm sure the amount that you paint it's not going to matter what you do because you're going to use it up again see the bird is agreeing with me if you can hear it um this particular black is lunar black in it oh uh, everybody will be very happy or maybe it's sacrilegious because when i did the review of this i had so many people going you aren't using a high enough quality paint <laughs> uh-huh have you seen my sketchbook tour it is great paint but this is actually premium artist grade so i don't know i'm mixing you know the stuff that gives people nightmares like uh you know, like the final episode of Twin Peaks. Did you watch that? I finally got through it and oh my gosh, I had nightmares all night long when I finished it. Um, but I'm just gonna put this one into that one. So let's take a look at how I do it. It's exciting as far as squeezing a tube into a square is. Um, and yeah, I'm not giving you, uh, this is what Daniel Smith watercolors look like because there's enough, you know, shysters that are out there trying to sell wares already. Um, and if you are a shyster, I'm very sorry. Uh, maybe your last name is shyster. It's a nice name. I like saying the word shyster, just like I like saying lots of words like 
Anemule and Ami Tofu and, you know, I don't know what else. Lots of things. And yeah, if you're looking at my lemon tree in the background, it did not like sitting where it is. It's on a heat, beside a heat register, but it's directly across from the door. And you know, the two things together, it's lost half of its leaves, but it's going back outside soon. So it will be fine. I can guarantee it. So anyways, without any more conversation, because there will be somebody invariably, they'll be like, it's five minutes into the video and he has still not squeezed the dang tube. Goodbye. Um, if you're that person, this may not be the right channel for you because I like talking and I'm very not apolo apologetic about how much I talk because I've got things to say and apparently people like what I'm talking about most of the time. Anyhow, and I haven't even had a coffee yet and I'm talking like this. Let's check it out. I'm going to fill it up with the lovely 3D. Did you wear your 3D glasses? Uh, you might need them. It's coming up right now. All right. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's a work of art. Maybe I should paint a painting of my paint. Why have I not thought about that? That's a great idea. Anyways, this is my awesome... Uh, I'll put another link into the description on this. This is my Mia watercolor palette. Man, I love it. What is that? Oh, just a bit of grunge from painting. Anyhow, I have used this thing so much. I love it. Which colors do I use the most of? I use a lot of this, a lot of that, and a whole lot of black. Surprisingly, I haven't used a whole lot of orange. That's weird. Anyways, so again, where are we? This is the Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolors. You can get it by clicking the link. And all we're gonna do is open it up. That would have been really embarrassing if I had tried to open it and it didn't open. So open her up, and then we're going to satisfy our artistic stuff and just squish it in there. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Look at that. So that is just a little bit of a squeeze. And see, I hardly squeezed any in there and it's already more than half full. Yes, I'm an optimist. I'm gonna give it a little bit more. I'm just gonna yeah, I should use a handy dandy tool to mix it around and make it go in there, but I'm using this because that's kind of how I rock. All right, oh, look at that mess. Someone's gonna be like, James, there is so much paint on the end of that. <laughs> I'll clean it up right now. Look at me, just for you. I'm not going to put it in that the pan though. I'm just gonna clean it up on my ever present paper towel for doing my watercolors. All right, and that is literally it. And then what you can do after that is add some more when that dries. I should probably pat that down a little bit more, but that'll be, that'll be just fine because end of the day, let's be honest, take a look at my other pants. I make a mess. So I don't care if it's not all in there, but that's what you do. And it's gonna dry and it's gonna be awesome. And I will have a whole lot more left to refill it. It just shows you how much you get in one of these. So when you order it, you'll be like, well, that's not very much for what I paid for that. That's crazy. Why would I get such a little thing? Well, that amount of paint is probably gonna last me, oh, I don't know, months, months, safe to say. So there you go, that's what you do. It's gonna dry. I'm not gonna come back and show you what it looks like when it's dry because if you do watercolor painting, guess what? You already know, it's gonna look like a pan of paint. So back to my beautiful face. Wow, was that ever exciting? I don't know, David Lynch, if he watched this video, he would be like, that's a super exciting uh, film right there. Um, 
all it needs is a groovy little soundtrack to go with it and then you got something going on so <laughs> anyhow i'm pretty excited to try out the lunar block i i bought it just because it has a lunar in it i love space and if you didn't know we we're floating in space and we are mostly space anyhow that's really it and then you do the same thing with all of the different colors and the cool thing is when you use up a color you can try something new and life has changed so you should always be open to that uh, of course what you also could do is try to find the exact same color and just keep trucking that's possible too but uh i'm always into new things so there you go hope you're doing great can you please watch some wherever it is another one of these videos if you haven't yet and please tell your friends about the channel share the videos like the videos subscribe to the videos and if you haven't heard me say it 50 billion times well i haven't done that many videos yet if you haven't heard me say it a whole bunch of times i love two-way conversations so you can track me down at the sketchbook zen instagram or you can say hello down below and i will take time out of my day to respond to you especially if you're an awesome person which almost all of you are and with that you keep trucking be awesome get there out get there out Get out there and enjoy your life. Cultivate compassion for yourself. Cultivate compassion for your lunar black or your used up palette because color has feeling too. I, I should put that on a t-shirt. Anyhow, you take care of yourself and I will see you very soon.